Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today, let's check out Initial D Arcade Stage 0 version 2.3 on my Steam Deck Steam OS. And I'm going to be using an arcade emulator called Techno Parrot. I've been having a blast with this emulator recently. So yeah, let's just launch it. I'll show you how to install this later on in the video. Let's just check out some gameplay right now. So this is the emulator. I've already got it installed. So all I need to do is click on launch game. And I've actually installed this on my PC, my Steam Deck and my Lenovo Legion Go. And like the Steam Deck version has an issue where I, um, like it has an issue connecting to the all.net server. That is the, like the server that uh, controls the save. You know, you have to mimic that um, NFC card that you normally buy at the arcade to save your game. Um, but it works fine on the Windows PC and on the Lenovo Legion Go. So it should be something to do with my Steam OS. Like it's either it's missing something, missing a dependency or something. Um, because all the settings is exactly the same. Um, so yeah, so if you only have access to a Steam Deck and you want to play this game, currently I haven't figured it out yet. Um, if anyone who's watching this has figured this out, let me know in the comment section. It really helps out a lot. And I'll show you some gameplay of my um, Lenovo Legion Go working with like saves and everything later on as well. So here you see initializing. This is the all.net server. And then um, here it says error. Cannot connect to the all.net server. And here it says Amy cannot be used for online battle mode at this time. So this game has um, sound and music. It's just um, because... Uh, I muted it because, uh, you know, YouTube, uh, all these music has, um, most of them have um, copyright. So yeah, I muted it for uh, the YouTube purpose, but it does have music and sound effects. Uh, it just doesn't save at the moment. Okay, let's select our car. I'm going to go with the Celica, one of my dream cars when I was a kid. Okay, let's go for the red one. Manual. Okay, let's see how it performs. It does perform really, really well. Stable 60 FPS. Oh, the slicker looks nice. So this first person view and third person view. I prefer first person view for this game. That's how I played it in the arcades. I wasn't very good at it. Uh, some people were really, really good at this game. I never beat those people. But yeah, they, they practice a lot. In case you want to see the third person view. So you can see, yeah, it runs really, really smooth. So I'm currently playing this on my Lenovo Legion Go mostly because I can't save on the Steam Deck. So yeah, hopefully that gets fixed. I know someone's like done it before. Uh, the old method. This is a newer method. Like you just use Techno Parrot. Um, there's an older method that uses um, like MIME server. Like that's harder to install. Uh, I haven't figured that out yet. But uh, yeah, here's the newer method. It works on the Windows and um, Lenovo Legion Go. So not sure why it's not working on the Steam Deck. It's mainly because I think it's missing a dependency, a Windows dependency that's required to get it running but i've already got like four like dotnet framework 4.6.2 installed uh maybe i'll try installing other dotnets versions um or maybe some visual c i don't think it's anything to do with the visual c i think it's a dotnet thing
So yeah, I think uh, you've seen enough. Let's go back to my desktop mode and I'll show you how it's done. See you back in desktop mode. Okay, so welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. The first thing you need to have ready is your game. So I've got my game in my games folder, Techno Parrot Games, and then here, Initial D Arcade Stage 0, version 2.30. Okay, so the folders and files look something like this. Okay, so make sure you have your own game. Don't ask me where to get it. Go get it yourself. And then you'll need to have Lutris because we're going to be installing the emulator with Lutris. So if you don't have Lutris, go to the bottom left corner of your Steam Deck and go to the Discover Software Center. In the search bar, type Lutris and you should pop up this like orange beaver icon thing. Make sure you have this installed. I've got it installed, so I'm just going to press launch. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so once you have this, um, you can go to this website. It's the Lutris website, and somebody has already created a, like, um, a script that installs the uh, emulator and also all the required dependencies. So it's very simple. Just click install here, then click open. This is like an older version, the legacy version which should be fine. So here's the installation directory, Home Deck Games Techno Parrot. You could like change it if you want. I'm just going to leave it here. Continue. And it's going to take like, I think like 15 to 20 minutes because like it has a dependency called the .NET Framework 4.6.2. That takes a bit of time. So just let it do its thing. And I think this Legacy Edition is uh, all we need for this game. Some games might require a newer version. So... Um, if you need a newer version, you can go to the Techno Parrot uh, website, click on download, and then download this one, the web installer. This might get you a newer version. So some newer games might require a newer version of the emulator, but I think Initial D um, is okay with the legacy one. So we'll just stick with this one, keep it simple. And yeah, it's going to take like 15 to 20 minutes, so maybe I'll fast forward this part. Okay, so what seemed like forever, for me anyway, I fast forward it for you guys. So installation is complete now. You don't need to launch it. Just click close. Okay, and then you've got your emulator right here, Techno Parrot. Okay, so yeah, if you take a look at it, um, we're using the runner options, YNGE 826x8664. This is the one I'm using. I'm pretty sure other ones work too, but if it doesn't, um, and you don't have this version, you can always go to the left-hand side of Lutris and you've got this wine tab here and then click here, manage versions, and you can always download and install it, okay? So here's, I've got mine installed. If you don't have it installed, click on the install button, okay? Now let's run the emulator. So right-click it, click play. Okay, looks like you don't have any game set up. Do you want to add one now? Yes, I do. And this is the legacy version. Okay, so we do have initial D, but we don't have the... We don't have... Okay, so we do actually need the newer version of the emulator. This is a little bit too old. So what you need to do is... Let's just quit out of this one. Okay, um, go here and download... Like I'll leave a link, technoparrot.com. Click on the download. Click on this um, blue one, download TP Bootstrapper. I already have it. Yeah, I've downloaded it twice, actually. So, oops, I opened my... Okay, go to... Oops, I opened Discord. Uh, go to... Bugging me now. Okay, go to Downloads. And then I've got my TP Bootstrapper.zip here. So extract it, and you get this folder, TP Bootstrapper. And then here, it's got an EXE. So right-click it. Add to Steam. Okay. And then open up your Steam. Okay, this we can get out first. Go to your Steam and then click on Library. And then on the left-hand side, tpbootstrapper.exe is right here. Click on the gear icon. Properties. Compatibility. We're going to change it to Proton Experimental. And let's just run it. It's an installer. Okay, so we're going to install a newer version of the emulator, which support more games. 
Okay, so unfortunately, I've been doing this too much. Um, my hourly rate limit for GitHub is like it's limited, so I can't download it right now. So yeah, I'll probably have to get back to this one. But all you need to do is you need to create a folder. So let's say I go to my games folder and you see how I installed Techno Parrot here. This is like the drive C that uh, this is where I installed it with um, uh, Lutris. So maybe we can just go into drive C and create a new folder. And I'm going to call it um, Techno Parrot no parrot uh latest so this is the latest version it's just a blank folder and what you need to do is just in this installer just uh, because i've got this if you don't have this click on the browse and locate that folder and install it there so yeah i'll see you back when i've installed it because uh right now i can't so i'll see you back soon Okay, so welcome back. I installed it. So here's the like, folder that I created, TechnoParrot Latest. And you can see now it's populated because I've installed the latest version of the emulator. Now what we do is we go back to Lutris and here's the emulator that we installed. Right click it, configure, and it's pointing here in game options. It's pointing to the legacy version, which we want to change that. So let's point it back to the latest version so okay techno parrot drive c this is the folder that we created and installed the latest version and then select techno parrot ui.exe save and then let's run the emulator okay so we don't have any game set up do you want to add one now yes okay so now let's find our game. It should be here now. Yes, initial D, arcade stage zero, version two. Add game. And then um, you want to go to online profile and make sure you have an account set up in technoparrot.com. So it gives you this online ID. It's for your save. But it mimics that um, card, the NFC card in the arcades that you have to buy to save your game. I'm going to copy this and then um, go to game settings. And here it says online ID. Just paste it here. Then executable, we're going to select the game executable, which is in the game folder. So slash home deck games, techno parrot games, initial D arcade stage zero version 2.30. And the exe is this one, initial d0dx11 nu.exe. And then the second game executable, same path. So it's the same path. And here's the exe, amdaemon.exe. Oops. Okay, got that done. And then because we're using the Steam Deck, uh, the input, I'm going to change it to X input. And then the PCB region. I'm going to change it to export because even though it's a Japanese game, there's some. If you change it to export, some of the text is in English, which is uh, it's better for me. Okay, so I choose export. Um, and then okay, network IP. You need to locate your uh network IP for your router, not for your system. So for me, this one's already correct. 192.168.1.1. On the Steam Deck, uh, normally I go to console and I type IP space address. And you can see here's the IP address. 192.168.1.21. This is the IP address for my Steam Deck. For my router, it's normally like the last digits. It's just the one. Uh, but that might be different for different routers. So I'm not really, really sure. Um, but uh, normally on Windows, what if you have a Windows machine connected to the same network, uh, type CMD and enter the command prompt and then type IP config and you should see a default gateway. I'll put a screen up uh, so to show you what you're looking for and you should just enter that IP address and that's it. Save settings. Okay, and then go to controller setup. And we're going to set up our controller. So make sure you're in gamepad mode. So press and hold the start button until you hear beep. It takes less than a second. And then, and then, um, okay, for the test button, 
I'm going to use L3. Okay, so the left analog stick pressing on it. And then the service button is um, right analog stick pressing R3. Okay, so the, the button. And then coin is the select button. The Amy card, that's the like mimics the card, the save card. I'm going to use um, X button. And then the start is the start button. The wheel access is the left analog stick. So just point it to a direction. Gas, I'm going to press the A button. Brake is the B button. Shift up is the right bumper. Shift down is the left bumper. View change. That's like first person view and um, third person view. So that's a Y button. Then menu up is the up D-pad. And then down D-pad for menu down. Menu left is left D-pad. Menu right is right D-pad. And then, oops, oh, sorry. Okay. So for the first gear, second gear, I'm, not, I'm just going to leave them blank because I'm going to use the, the bumpers to um, change the gears. Okay, so save settings. And then let's launch the game and see if it works. So I think uh, I've tried it before. Um, the all.net server, the emulation for that, I'm not sure why it doesn't work. Uh, for the Steam Deck, it works for the Lenovo Legion Go. So I know, like, it's not my network, it's not my router. Um, it's definitely because it's on the Steam OS. So I think something's not working on the Steam OS uh, for the all.net router. So, so I can't actually save. Uh, I'll show you some footage of uh, my Lenovo Legion Go running the same setup, same settings. Uh, but yeah, that works. That, that connects to the all.net server. That emulates it fine. I'm not sure why. But uh, yeah. So if you know why it doesn't work, let me know in the comments. Um, or if you know a fix, yeah, let us know. So we boot it into the, to the game. And I think we should get an error connecting to the all.net. Yeah, see this? Cannot connect with the all.net router. So that means that we can't use the Amy card. You can see the red text. Amy cannot be used for online battle at this moment. So there, yeah, that's that's a bummer. So I can like mimic it, but it just fails to read because the service offline. I'm not sure why that is. But yeah, like it's working fine. So come on, we can't save game. That's a bummer. Or the Steam Deck. Uh, I haven't found the fix yet. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the, the Steam Deck because it works on the Lenovo Legion Go and on my PC. Okay, so I'm just going to quit it. Going to quit it. Um, one more thing you need to do uh, if you want to play on your, uh, if you want to play on your Steam gaming mode. So let me stop this first. Oops. Okay, so uh, right click it and then uh, click. Uh, I'm going to delete the Steam shortcut. You need to click here, create Steam shortcut. So this creates a Steam shortcut for you to work in gaming mode. So that's how it's done. Um, thank you for watching. I'll put the uh, Lenovo Legion Go footage on right now. Okay, so we're on my Legion Go and let's start up the emulator. I did test it out before filming and it didn't work anymore, but um, a few days ago it was working fine. So I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, and I've been searching online. I think a lot of people have getting this issue. Um, so yeah, hopefully it can be fixed soon. I'm not sure if it's my router or, or is it um, because Techno Parrot, their GitHub page has been um, is down. Uh, I'm not sure if that's an effect uh i don't think so but um yeah i'm not sure why so i'm trying to load into the game and i still get that all.net error so i can't connect still yeah i'm still getting this 8008 cannot connection with the all.net router so yeah uh yeah i'll leave it here hopefully someone can um give me a tip and yeah, if you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.